finds its level. Water always finds its level, mate. They always say it like they've discovered a new law of physics in their mum's bathtub. Unbelievable. The only thing finding its level here is his IQ flatline. <laughs> Jesus, 85, you're straight in there, lad. What? I'm just warming up. Stop in human. This is 85. Destroys flat earth logic. My patience is already thinner than the flat earthers' Tinder matches. First, first up, the greatest hit, the one they cling to like a drunk uncle clings to karaoke night. The horizon looks flat, so the earth must be flat. In that logic, my spaceship looks packed when I'm pissed, but really it's crashed into your neighbour's conservatory. <laughs> An ant on a bowling ball would say the same. Yep, flat. Right before Gus balls a strike and splats him. Exactly. Your little meat sacks on a gigantic cosmic basketball. Of course, it looks flat to your primitive eyeballs. You lot can't even find the TV remote without help. But fair. Ever seen a ship sail off? Bottom vanishes first, then the rest. It's not disappearing. It's going over the curve. It's not Narnia. It's geometry. If Steve walks over a hill, he don't scream. Steve fell into a black hole. You know he's on the other side. Saying the Earth is flat because the horizon looks flat is like saying I'm a millionaire because I've got a 20 quid note. And with your spending habits, even that's optimistic. Back to Mr. Bathtub Philosopher, water always finds its level, said with more confidence than sense. They confuse level with flat. On my planet, toddlers grasp this before they've grown their second appendage. <laughs> and moving on. When water finds its level, it means equal distance from the planet's centre of mass. On a sphere, that's a curve. The oceans wrap around like clim film on your leftover kebab. The idea oceans are perfectly flat planes. Absolute comedy. What happens at the edge? Do we just have 90 degree waterfalls dropping into the cosmic abyss? Exactly. A giant pizza earth with Niagara Falls off the crust. And let's be real, if the earth were flat, Cats would have pushed everything off the edge centuries ago. They'll point at a lake and say, see, flat. Mate, that's a puddle to gravity. Exactly, Shane. Your bathtub, flat. The Atlantic Ocean, curved. Learn the difference, people, before you drown in your own ignorance. Next up, the aviation comedy special. Flight paths don't make sense on a globe, but they make perfect sense on our flat earth map. Flat earth map is a lie. You absolute walnuts. You can't flatten a sphere without distortion. It's like trying to peel an orange and iron it flat. Doesn't work. Trust me, I tried it once when I was drunk. That curve you see on a flat map, it's actually the shortest route on a sphere. Pilots aren't wasting thousands of pounds in fuel just to prank you. Then comes the pièce de résistance. If the Earth is spinning, pilots would have to dip their nose constantly or they'd fly into space. <laughs> That's true. Do you constantly press yourself into your sofa to keep you from floating into the ceiling? It's the same. Maybe you do after four pints, Shane, but no. Gravity handles it. Planes, peanuts, screaming babies in row 14, all pull towards the Earth. Instruments are designed for a rotating sphere. It's not conspiracy. It's Tuesday. If pilots really had to dip the nose, half of your flights would end up in nosedives, and you're in flight movie. 
would be the trash can. Their final defence, NASA fakes all the photos. Photoshop, mate. I believe that you'd need to think NASA, ESA, Roscomus, China, India, every space agency on Earth is in on it. Your mate can't keep quiet about a surprise birthday party, but you think hundreds of thousands of people can hide the shape of the planet. Don't forget private companies, SpaceX, Blue Origin, all the amateur astronomers with telescopes in their garden. What are they, government plants with suspiciously bad lawn furniture? And your GPS works because of satellites orbiting a globe. When a map tells you to turn left at Greg's, that's not sorcery, it's physics. I mean, all photos are fake. Is the intellectual equivalent of yelling, no, it's playground logic for people with mortgages. And the showstopper, if the Earth spins at a thousand miles per hour, why can't we feel it? Have you not been on a plane cruising at 500 miles per hour? You are not pinned to the back wall by hurricane winds. You're eating peanuts and farting silently. Everything in the plane, you, the seats, the crying toddler, all moving at the same speed. You only feel acceleration or turbulence. Earth's spin is smooth. No potholes, no sudden gear shifts. We're all moving together. You don't feel it for the same reason fish doesn't feel wet. It's just the medium you're in. Unless you're drunk, mate, then you'll definitely feel the spin, trust me. <laughs> Your species call it the room spinning. We call it human system reboot. There it is. Horizon illusions, curved oceans, efficient flight paths, real space photos, and a spin you can't feel because you're part of it. Every one of these claims collapses faster than your willpower at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Ancient Greeks proved this with sticks and shadows. We've got satellites and SpaceX rockets. Maybe use them. Don't subscribe or I'll assume you're a flat earther. And if you are a flat earther, don't worry, my probe can still reach. <laughs> For the love of God, mate, bloody hell. What? They need motivation. Comment your favourite flat earth claim below. I'm Shane, the squeaky one was 85. Stay sceptical, stay curious, and for God's sake, buy a bloody globe. <laughs>